what's up everybody it is just the laser welcome back to my shoe collection i have a massive beat okay as you can tell the audio is not being recorded live my audio didn't work for my intro scene so i'm redoing the audio right now this is my shoe collection it is insane i did a shoe collection video about a year ago but i've gotten so many new pairs of kicks that i needed to make a part two and a lot of people wanted to see it so here it is ladies and gentlemen i have three racks of shoes now last time i had two racks starting off the shoe collection i have a bunch of air jordan ones that are just all white the reason i have a couple pairs of the exact same shoes because i want to get them customized in the future so right now they're just chilling when they're customized they look beast like that shoe if i'm ever feeling you know fancy schmancy i got some red dress shoes i'd never wear these my mom got them for me they were a disgrace to the collection i got some red under armor shoes a lot of my shoes i've just been fortunate enough to get sent to me those are one of them these are my Batman shoes. Now they look like regular black and red shoes on the outside, but they're actually pretty special. First of all, yellow bottoms. This is what it looks like when you take a picture with the flash. So they actually look like Batman shoes and they light up, which is really awesome when light is exposed to them. These are some all white blazers. Now I got these to be customized. They haven't been customized yet, but like it has a pretty big canvas to do whatever you want on it. And I love customized shoes. I need to get some more. Now we're getting on to the heat. I, I absolutely love off-white Nikes. Now I don't really own any designer clothes, but shoes, on the other hand, I go hard, okay? Now, these are very dirty, and uh, you guys are all gonna say this is cringe. I got bored in the hotel room one day for hours, and I just started writing on everything, and I wrote two I've on the side. Don't hate me, people write on their shoes sometimes. They're so dirty, I absolutely wore, I wore these so much, and then I put JSR, but these are so worn down. The thing is, I wanna get another one, but when I bought them, they were like 500, now they're like 1,000, so I'm like, yeah, I'll just stick with the dirty ones. And then right here, we got the off-white Hyper Dunks. These shoes are actually really interesting. They're not very comfortable, to be completely honest. There's a reason you don't see pe too many people balling in them. Well, Ant is there. They're just hard to get, but these shoes are dope, but hooping in them, they're not the best to hoop in, to be honest. I've already been roasted. I need to change the laces. The Jordan 1's off-white, the blue ones. This is the North Carolina colorway for the Jordan 1's off-white again. I love these shoes. I need to change the laces. Everyone roasted me that they were too blue. It was an accident. I'm gonna change them to like white or something. Another pair of off-white Jordan 1's. Dude, these shoes I have worn so many times these are like my go-to and i added these little gold things to the bottom just added some pizzazz to it you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying but i absolutely love these shoes i wear them literally all the time like whenever i go out i'll just throw these on and then moving on to the kevin durant section now this shoe right here is my absolute prized possession this bad boy right here favorite shoe of all time hands down we have the kd4 nurse they have the coolest box ever first of all boom you have a backboard you can have. Obviously, I'm not taking this out of here. I'm keeping it how it is. Comes with a little Nerf ball. This is this is next level, bro. And then you open it up one more, and boom, we got the shoes. I'm gonna need some close-ups. Get some good shots of this. This shoe, I always wanted it. Like, in middle school, the KD4s came out for me, and me and my friend Mitchell were like, bro, these are the coolest shoes of all time. And I just, I've always wanted them ever since that moment in middle school. Obviously, I couldn't afford these in middle school because they're like 2,000 right now. Even more, it's hard to get. I said to myself when I hit 500,000 subscribers, I was gonna buy these bad boys because they were my dream shoe. Love them so much. But when I hit 500,000 subscribers, I couldn't like find a pair that fit me. And I finally found a plug on Twitter and he actually got them to me for a little cheaper. It took me literally like, I wanted, I tried getting them at 500, K subs and I ended up getting them at like 900k because it just took me so long to find someone that had them guys we got the Versace slides okay this is a thing me and Chris were in Dallas the Versace store we just it was a full send we both got robes and I was like if I'm getting a bathrobe I gotta get some slides to go with it so I have I have some Versace slides to be honest don't buy them they're not comfortable they're literally they just feel like big things of rubber to be honest not the move. I bought it to let you guys know not to get it. KD4, Galaxy, insane shoe, obviously. Um, these, if you take a picture, light up. That's how you know they're not fake. This is what they look like. That's how you know they're real. I actually have a fake pair that my friend Mitchell had and he just left them here. So I'll show you what they look like. These are some fake KD4 All-Stars and just look at the difference. First of all, this looks different. This is way different Whoa, than this part. Whoa, where's that Nike sign on those fakes? The, Ni the Nike sign looks a little oh sus. Oh my goodness. Look at, look at the difference. Yeah. Look at this, exposed, fake. We got the KD Aunt Pearls, all pink. Pretty nice, my only pink shoes. I love them. I love KD4s, the Weathermans, 
These shoes, oh my god. These are my favorite KD4 after the Nerf Pro. Verified, I haven't taken this thing off yet. I haven't worn those just yet. And then these are Chance the Rapper. Here's a picture of his Ass Rap album. I wanted a shoe that was inspired by that. And this is inspired by the cover. And in the back it says JSR in like a drip font. And we got like some splatter purple on the laces. I love these shoes. I rarely wear them. They're one of my favorites. Ooh, what happened here, bro? These got scuffed. No. Every time I wear nice shoes, they get ruined. Janowski is literally all I wore in high school. Off-white running shoes. The sole on these is so thick that it's like, I gain like two inches when I wear them. Puma just sent me these. They're like red, blue, and yellow. I don't know, they're, they're kind of cool. I actually wore these a lot, especially to the gym. Shout out. Another pair to customize. These I just got recently. These are customized. I customized them at the LeBron's first LA Laker game. They had a stand out there. Uh, I got a purple and yellow for the Lakers and a glittery Nike logo. That's OD and it says LBJ on the bottom in gold. This other one says Dream and these are my only shoes that have double laces, which it just looks dope, honestly. I think this is the Adidas Crazy Explosive Low. Honestly, I've hooped in these shoes probably more than any shoe in this collection. And I know they're not even that like crazy, but they're just so comfy. Definitely recommend them. I got these running shoes from Nike. Quick story, when we were in New York, we got invited down to the Nike like headquarters area there. And they literally gave us probably in total, there was like six of us, like legit like 60 pairs of shoes. They were just handing out boxes like, take this, take this. So I just got a ton of shoes from them. This was one of them. Like shout out to Nike, that was the plug. This shoe, Ball is Life actually gave me because they worked on a project with Nike. So these are super rare. The lines on. On it are meant to be the lines of New York City and I think there's only about a hundred pairs in the big apple for the city on the back I've worn these down so much it's actually bad this always happens to the bottom of my shoes they just wear out I know I shouldn't wear these rare shoes but it's like I got shoes I'm gonna wear them like that's what they're for some OG hyperdunks not too much to say 2014 I'm not exactly sure but you gotta get some hyperdunks. Then after this, we got my KD4 section. These are the confetti ones, pretty dope. These are finals edition Kyrie's and they're just pretty cool. They're kind of dirty once again. A lot of my shoes are dirty, worn down, but they have gold laces, which is pretty sick. My absolute favorite pair of Kyrie's. We're gonna need some dope shots on this. This is the Kyrie Bruce Lee's and it's like a collab with Kobe because it's half Kobe logo, half Kyrie. Honestly, probably in my opinion, the sickest Kyrie shoes out there. And look, we got some Mamba snake skin on the side. Bro, these shoes are OD. I love these. They look so good on feet too. We got some more Kyrie's. 2K gave them to me for 2K18, the release. I just got a few pair of Kyrie's. I'm not complaining. Now we're moving on to the Hype Beast collection. I know, I know. Flame me all you want. Cash always claims me. We got the Zebra Yeezys. I don't really wear them as much, but I actually won these from Chris for hitting a million subs. We had a race, so he gave me these, so that was awesome. These are the black and red Yeezys. These ones are pretty rare. They're actually really dope. I think these ones are like one of the sickest Yeezys, so. These are the number one Victory Royale custom Yeezys. These actually went kind of viral. This is probably like my, I guess this is my most viral shoe because these are so next level. People literally think this is Photoshop when they see pictures of it. Then on the other side, we got the little Fortnite logo. And my absolute favorite, it says, eliminated by Jesser on the side. Dude, these shoes are OD. Shout out to my boy Kickstradamus for making them, but bro, it's so sick. Just some classic NMDs. You gotta have these in your collection. They're so comfortable. I'm not gonna pull out each one, but these, this whole set of four, is the same shoe, just different colors. I like the huge tennis shoes. I think they're each like 80 bucks or something, but the thing I love about them is since they're the same shoe, I like to like mix and match. You know, I might do blue and green, might go McDonald's on them, go red and yellow. If I'm wild in blue and red, there's so many different combinations. So I like to wear two different shoes, just mix it up. These are the Kobe Undefeated Potros collab. Now, I'm really not a big fan of camo. I just got them for retail price, so I was like, I have to snag them. Like, I had an opportunity all-star weekend to cop these at normal price, and I knew they were gonna be crazy resale, so I was like, I have to cop if I can get them for, like, cheap. One of my favorite shoes right here. These are the Paul George PlayStation shoes. Now, they actually light up. I won the 2 i game MVP. Get some good shots of these. PlayStation buttons, and on the sides, I don't, if you can zoom in, can you see it? It's like different, all the PlayStation like. Oh yeah, and the buttons. PlayStation buttons right here in the yeah. inside. So sick, bro. They literally light up. It literally has a PlayStation logo. One of my absolute favorite shoes in my collection. Like these are next level, dude. Would you say this is a uh, top five in your collection? 100%. We'll do the top five at the end. I'm gonna keep it 100 with you guys. I don't even know what this shoe is called. I got it from Nike for free, so. 
Those are the Air Maxes, bro. Are these the Air Maxes? Yeah. I haven't worn these too much. This shoe's pretty dope at first. I, when I first got it, I was like, damn, like I don't really like this as much. But once I actually started wearing it, I liked it more. It's just it's a really heavy shoe, actually, but it looks great on foot. We got some neighborhood NMDs right here. They had like these little triangles. I don't know what looks cool. I was like, I'm finna cop. They're dope, the neighborhood. I don't know the name of these, but when I got them, they were like four, five hundred, and now they literally sell them everywhere. So there's only like a hundred. So you should cop these shoes. These are dope shoes. Shoes. Like you gotta cop now. Another pair of NMDs. I have to wash these. They actually got a little dirty. All my white shoes always get so dirty. I cry every time. We did an express shoot with Chris and they gave me these shoes. I haven't really worn them. It's not really my style too much, but they're in the collection. We got both of the Halloween off-white blazers right here. Now I did a video asking people which they like better and everyone was on this one, bro. I think the black one is cooler too, but I like this one. I like the tan color of it. It is a little bit harder to rock than the black ones, but I'm gonna give it a dub. I know people are hating, but I like them. So I got them. All the shoes, like I get the shoes because I like them. They're like what I'm into. Well, some of them are hype beasts, but. Just another pair of Kyrie's. I don't remember getting these. They kind of just showed up. We got some Paul George's, just some regular Paul George's. We got some LeBron's. I messed up my ankles in these. I haven't worn them since. Like those shoes, you jump so high, they're so comfortable, but I always hurt my ankle in them, so I don't really wear them anymore. Then we got some more Paul George's. All right, right here, I have two pairs of the KD4's Finals Edition. They literally like just re-released these like a couple months ago. I got two pairs, one to do backyard outside videos in, and the other for indoor videos. It's kind of dumb to get two, but they're already getting messed up. Then these KD4s, yes, I love my KD4s. I like USA editions. They're pretty dope too. Another pair of KD4s, yes, I, I, you probably know I love KD4s. Probably gonna stop buying KD4s. It's, it's getting a little weird. Now Under Armour sent me these. They're just curry shoes. Not gonna lie, I haven't worn these yet. <laughs> I haven't put the curries on. Now this might be the absolute most heat in my entire collection ladies and gentlemen we got some Lonzo ball shoes now these bad boys are signed by the God himself Lonzo ball bro I made a video on these that's the reason I got them because they're like they were like a thousand dollars they took a couple months to come I did a whole shoe review video on these so I'm not gonna go too in-depth on the big baller brands. and then we got the Laker colorway big baller brands these are one of the lightest basketball shoes in my entire collection I do have some lamello ball ones but Zach has them right now up here we got two of the Kyrie cereal pack shoes these are the cinnamon toast crunch ones we love the tan and these ones are kicks I never really eat kicks but right here these are custom shoes I got. They are Hail Vader shoes. They have Darth Vader on the side, a logo right here, and then it started to fade once I played the game, so that was sad. Got the other one, another thing of Darth Vader. These bad boys are super heat. If you young bloods don't know about this, this is a LeBron 9 South Beach. Back when he played for Miami. The South Beach colorway, easily like one of my favorite colorways, just in general, I love the pink. But yeah, those shoes, massive dub. These are some EYVL KDs. After the KD4s, I kind of stopped messing with KD shoes. They are comfy, but yeah. Got some LeBrons right here. I haven't worn these. I'm scared I'm gonna hurt my ankle. You'd think they have hella ankle support, but I found for myself, when I wear shoes with less ankle support, like some low toss, I actually get way less ankle injuries. It's trippy, but hey. All right, these are some custom shoes. Get some close-ups of this. Look at the JSR tags. You guys ought to admit, that is boss, the JSR tags. It has a design on it. We got a double Nike logo right here. I just tried to put as much on this shoe as possible. Got like this. We got a little pin right here, the back. It has like buttons. It's literally a wild shoe. I drew all over it. I put a drip and look you can literally detach the Nike logo Isn't that that's pretty dope. Ooh, that's, pretty that's like sick So these are just like some custom Nikes I made these shoes right here. These are signed James Harden's these mean a lot to me because I got to play James Harden one-on-one -on -one, which is like bro that's like a dream come true one of the craziest experiences in my entire life and I got him to shine the shoes right after and the only time I ever worn these was when I was playing him one-on-one -on, -one on the court so that was sick these shoes right here I forget the name they're like what does I need to start wearing them more whenever I wear these I get a hella compliments they're pretty dope so definitely gotta start rocking these more I don't know why I don't we got some Snoopy shoes I'm pretty sure these are like 80 bucks I was like why not cop they're dope this shoe very 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 interesting right here Pizza Hut sent me these look how thick the tongue is probably the thickest tongue you've ever seen the reason for that is these Pizza Hut logos are actually buttons now if I click this button I'm getting two Pizza Hut pizzas ordered to my house. It connects to an app on your phone. So when you click them, it orders pizzas. And I'm pretty sure the other one like controls your TV. It was meant for like 
football. I only tried doing it once. I thought I was gonna get free pizza because they only have a few of these and I was so excited. I thought it was like a life hack for unlimited pizza. I was wrong. I had to pay like 40 bucks. So I don't really click these anymore. <laughs> and then these I got so long ago. I got some pure money fours right here. They're crease. I actually just got them randomly. Like it was, I was at an event and they were just giving out a random shoe box, to, like each person there. And this is the one I got. So hell, why not? And yeah, that is my shoe collection, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Give me your top five. And I'm about to give you guys my top five. It's going to be tough. So give me a moment to like look at everything and come up with a top five. <laughs> guys, going through my top five. I've already talked about these enough. Number one, KD4 Nurse, his childhood favorite shoe. Gotta love them. Then number two, we're actually going with the Air Jordan 1 Off-Whites because I just wear these so much. I think they look so good. I love them. I just love wearing these so much. I had to put them number two. Number three, we got the number one Victory Royale Yeezys. This is probably like everyone's most wanted shoe that I have because they're just so original and like literally no one else has them. They're one of one. Well, actually we did a giveaway, so they're one of two. Dude, these shoes, literally people think it's photoshopped. I need, I don't really wear them because they're just like so custom and custom shoes are my absolute favorites. Number four, the PlayStation Paul Georges. They light up and also these shoes just mean a lot to me because I got the two wipe MVP in these and it was just like that day where I wore these. Best day of my life. So awesome seeing everyone. So gotta put these in my top five. Five was tough. I was debating between between these right here and the Kyrie Bruce Lee's. Bro, like the custom ones right here, these are so sick to me. I absolutely love custom shoes. Honestly, I'm gonna put these, I'm gonna put these five. I'm putting these five. I'm taking out the Kyrie Bruce no. Lee's. That, that's like honorable mention right there. But for me personally, I just love these shoes. I've always wanted like an acid wrap shoe. And when I was finally able to do it, I was so excited. It has like the stars. It's so sick. But let me know what your guys' top five for my collection is. I'm very curious. Now that I see my collection, I need to start wearing everything. I need to start mixing up my style because I have a problem. I'll just start wearing one shoe and I literally have a whole collection full. But I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like rating down below. We can do this next year again. And a big thank you to everyone for just showing love, supporting me without you guys. Literally not None of this would be possible so it means everything to me you guys have been showing so much love and check out my last two videos right here they're popping up both were vlogs pretty funny pretty awesome and peace